Like you can tell if a lady is married or single from her surname. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amarachi Nzekwe and I am a Nigerian travel and lifestyle YouTuber currently living and working in Kaunas, Lithuania. So today, as you can already tell from the um, from the title, we're going to be I'm going to be sharing some interesting facts about Lithuania that I bet you did not know until now. So let's just get right into the video. So number one, Lithuania celebrates two Independence Day. The first one is on February 16th and the second one is on March 11th. February 16th is known as the Restoration of States Day. So in February 16th, 19, um, February 16th 1918, uh, Lithuania signed the Act of Independence and they were they became independent. But this independence was short-lived because in 1940, the Soviet Union occupied Lithuania. So they were under the Soviet Union up until 1990. So in March 11th, 1990, they had their election and they were officially declared an independence country. So yeah, so which is why it's celebrated as the Restoration of Independence Day. So these two Independence Days are celebrated all over Lithuania with flags, colors, events, everything. And it's a public holiday. So everywhere you go on those days, you'd see people like really celebrating, holding the flags, decorations. It's just nice, free buses, free events, and all of that nice things. Yeah. Number two. Lithuania has the fastest public Wi-Fi in the world. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, Lithuania has one of the fastest public Wi-Fi in the world. And it's really nice because I really do not worry about having mobile data on my phone because wherever I go, I'm most likely going to have internet and it's always fast. So wherever you go, you mostly see free internet. Even where it's not free, you would still get access to it. And it's it's fast. It's really fast. I mean, fastest in the world. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Number three. Lithuania is the only country in the world that has an official scent. Scent. Ushi. Smell. <laughs> yeah. So it's known as the scent of Lithuania. It's made from so many fragrances. Raspberry, Lily of the Valley, blueberries. Plenty, 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 plenty things. In fact, I didn't even know about this fact until today when I was doing a little bit of research to make this video and I saw that. So I'm definitely going to check it out sometime. Probably just go to a fragrance store and tell them that I want the scent of Lithuania. Number four. Lithuanian language is one of the is considered one of the oldest languages in the world this is because it has been um it has been identified to have similarities with sanskrit which is one of the ancient 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 old 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 languages of the world so yeah lithuanian language is very 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 old and quite complicated too so i'm learning lithuanian i'm learning lithuanian i can tell you that it's not easy <sighs> see it's not easy and let me tell you something interesting about the Lithuanian language. So as a lady, you can tell, no, like you can tell if a lady is married or single from her surname. So say for instance, if um, a man named Varnas marries, the, the, the wife would become Variana. I hope I'm correct. Please, if you are Lithuanian and you watch this video and I'm not correct, please, 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 please um, just correct me in the comment section. I'm just trying. But from what I know, if you are married to Vanas, your surname becomes Varniena. So Anna, E-N-E, -E, means that you are married. But if Varnas gives birth to a daughter, the daughter will be called Varnaita. So as a single person, your surname can either end with Aita, Uta, or Yita. So Aita, if the surname, if your father's surname ends with A-S, it becomes Aita. Your, your surname ends with A-I-T-E. If your, if your father's surname ends with, say, U-S, it becomes Uta. And if it ends with Y-S, it becomes Yita, which is Y-T-E. So yeah, basically, you can tell if um, somebody is married or single from her surname. So Variana means that the person is married. Varaita means var Varniata means that the person is single. But of course, this is 2020 and not everybody, you know, follows that or adheres to that. There are still people who have decided that they're going to keep their father's names or they're going to keep their Aita 
but it's also not very common to see most times when you see people or when you see their names you can tell if they are single or married from their name i think it's very interesting and for men i think that you would find it very convenient because if you see somebody that you like and you're trying to see if you should shoot your shot or not you can just check the person's surname and you can tell if this person is available or not so yeah i think it's pretty fascinating number five basketball is literally a religion in lithuania <laughs> yeah so basketball is the official is the official sport of lithuania and the same way we we love and we appreciate but um, football in nigeria that is how lithuanians love and appreciate basketball they do not joke with basketballs and they i think that i can say that they have a pretty solid team i think that the the national team of lithuania is considered the fourth best team in the world which is pretty good and pretty solid and they have like a couple of players that have gotten into the um, nba hall of fame so yeah basketball is a big deal in lithuania and it's nice i've been opportuned to watch a live basketball game and it was really 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 cool because the tickets that we got, myself and Professor, the ticket that we got was for the fan zone. So we're just like in the middle of the fan zone and you could see people like hailing, shouting. It was just like really, 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 really nice. It was such a nice experience. And I, I just feel like everybody should experience it. And of course, at Team Wonder Day. So yeah, so that's it. Number six, Lithuania was the last country in Europe to adopt Christianity. So before then, Lithuania, um, Lithuanians were pagans. Yeah, they were pagans. They were practicing some religion. I don't remember the name again before they adopted Christianity. So now, um, you know, like Christianity is more common now in Lithuania, but it wasn't the case like hundreds of years ago. So you'd notice that most Lithuanians are Catholic. Most Lithuanian Christians that you would see are Catholics, are Catholics, and it's usually the older people. So on Sundays when you are going out and you enter the bus, you'd notice that it's mostly old people coming from church or going to church. The older people are the ones who go to church and they're mostly Catholics. You see lots of cathedrals. They have like really, 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 really nice cathedrals here in Lithuania. Yeah, so uh that's it. Those are some some facts about lithuania i bet you didn't know if there are facts that you already knew before i mentioned it let me know which ones you know which one do you consider most interesting which one do you consider weird which one do you consider most fascinating let's discuss it and let me know the ones you knew and also let me know like videos you want to know and things you'd like to know about lithuania so that i can like i would really like to share more about this country because i realized that not a lot of people had heard about lithuania before i got here and i will do my best to share like details and bits and pieces about this interesting fascinating country that uh i live in and so for a few other things which may not consider so interesting but there are some facts about lithuania is that we are a population of 2.3 million people not a lot right <laughs> yeah 2.3 million people the capital of lithuania is vilnos uh yeah vilnos and uh i live in kaunas kaunas is like the second um second largest city um in lithuania after vilnos and it's like an hour 30 minutes away from vilnos uh yeah what else yeah i already mentioned that uh we gained independence uh, or we regained independence in 1990 so we're just we celebrated 30 years of independence this year uh let me see what other interesting facts about lithuania yeah so the official meal is sepelani sepelani which is um, made from potatoes stuffed potatoes i don't like it personally <laughs> but, but yeah i it, it's 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 really like it's it's a thing like people love it here it's the food and i cannot i cannot go out i shouldn't go out and you know trash talk Sepelani. I, I think it's I think it's equivalent to trash talking um Amala in front of Yoruba people in Nigeria. But yeah, that is these are a little fact um a few facts about Lithuania that you probably did not know. So yeah, um this is the end of my facts about Lithuania. Uh thank you for sticking to the end of this video. And please, 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 if you have not subscribed. Please subscribe after you watch this video. It really helps. It really goes a long way. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.